In this video, I would like to introduce you to the top-level concepts of the SNOMED CT terminology and show you how we represent them in SNOWAL. If you're already familiar with SNOMED CT, you might want to skip this video and go to the next video, which will show you how to do searches. Since we're going to do mostly browsing, um, I will start with the browsing perspective uh, that we created in the customizing your Snow Owl interface video, but uh, from time to time we'll go back to the authoring perspective, which is this default perspective. Let's go to the custom made perspective. There you can see um, the SNOMED CT concepts view. And um, by default, you will only see the 19 top level concepts, which are here, and the root concept. And uh, SNOMED CT is, is pretty big. If you hover over a concept, um, a tooltip will appear and it will display the number of children. So we have 305,011 um, children um, concepts within um, the terminology. Um, and if you hover over the other ones, you can see how big they are. So some are bigger than others. Like this one is a small one. Um, procedure is a very big one. Uh, clinical findings, obviously. Okay. Um, this symbol here indicates the terminology. Let me go back to the authoring perspective where we have the other terminologies. So this little medical bag is for SNOMED CT. Uh, the life preserver indicates ATC, the target ICD-10, and the target with a little Australian flag is the Australian modification. Um, so each of the terminologies has its own icon and that's quite useful because if you open a concept in the editor, you see the icon will appear in the tab and um, you can see we open one from SNOMED City as well. The underlying terminology from each of these concepts by looking at the icon. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back to the browsing perspective and close the editors. Uh, the icons that we chose for each of the top-level concepts um, will be displayed as well for their children. We already talked about this a bit in the previous video. Just wanted to uh, remind you. Um, so you can always see uh, which type of concept you're working with, um, no matter where you are in the terminology and in different parts of the user interface. So um, the eye represents body structures, which are uh, normal and abnormal um, body structures. Um, the abnormal ones are in this sub-hierarchy, morphologically altered structures. And let's just open one of them. Um, acquired body structures or anatomical structures. And you see here different um, parts of the body. And you see these little blue bookmarks. That means that I've bookmarked this concept before. And I'll show you how this works in the authoring perspective. There's a bookmarks view with the icons that are bookmarked. So you see like anatomical structure has been bookmarked and it shows up here. And um, how it works is you just go to a uh, concept that you want to bookmark, then you right click it for the context menu. Um, you go to add bookmark and uh, you can enter a description if you want to. And it shows up down here now, um, which is the body space stru structure that I just bookmarked. And if you want to delete one, uh, you just right click it again and you go to delete and then let's let's delete the same one you can actually see it delete it okay and now you see the little symbol disappeared okay so that's 
quite useful because then you can access them very easily and open them up in the editor and you don't have to find them again. Okay, let's go back to browsing. Uh, remember when you want to um, close um, the terminology again and just display the top level concepts, there is this little button that you can use, which I will do now. Okay, the next one, uh, it's, a, it's a huge category, it's the clinical findings with over 98,000 children. Uh, it comprises the outcomes of clinical observation, assessment, judgment, as well as normal and abnormal states. Uh, clinical states that are necessarily abnormal are diseases, which is this category. And um, let's just take one of them. And you can set it again as a root concept if you just want to look at a particular point of the hierarchy. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one, which is environment or geographical locations. They're indicated by a globe icon. Uh, these are different um, types of environments um, and as well as um, geographical or political regions. So environment, um, anything that is related to healthcare, hospital environments, um, geographical environments, places. And we can open one of them. And then here you have a, a lot of countries. So it's like an atlas. The, the next one, events, uh, is the calendar icon. And um, these are occurrences such as um, accidents, uh, travel events, environmental events. So we can open one of them just to give you an idea. Let's do environmental events, avalanche, earthquake, fog. Okay. Um, the next one is uh, magnifying glass. It's an uh, observable entity, so entities that can be measured or observed. Um, and um, let's look at the first one. Uh, that's, um, for instance, age at first symptom, at diagnosis, um, blood pressures in this category, body temperature. So think of just everything that can be measured and observed. So it's quite a bit. Um, the happy um, amoebae or, or ghost is uh, easy to recognize, it's for organisms. So everything you can think of in the animal kingdom, plants, algae, microorganisms, fungi, um, is in this category. So you can find your dog here if you want to, <laughs> or your plant at home. Uh, the next one is pharmaceutical and biological products. So these are um, drug products, everything you can buy in the pharmacy. It has to be um, distinguished from uh, the substance hierarchy, which is uh, further down here. It's actually the very last one. Um, so these are actual products, while um, in the pharmacy, in the substance uh, category, uh, these are chemical constituents used in pharmaceutical products are represented in this hierarchy. So um, here you can um, look what, what you have um, in your pharmacy, um, in, in your medical box. Um, you can, for instance, find uh, anti-allergenic, anti-allergic drugs, antihistamines, and then it goes down to the different products. Okay, there's a capsule icon. Um, physical force, the thundercloud, is um, different kinds of physical influences that are connected to injury, um, explosion, radiation, mechanical stress. Oh, we can open one of them. Magnetism. So all kinds of forces you can think of. 
Um, the next one, I, I like to call it the department store uh, category. It's physical objects. It's everything you can buy in a department store, um, devices, um, hospital furniture, um, fastening. This is all kinds of belts and buckles, um, instruments, um, as well closing vehicles. Uh, you can find a snowmobile here, uh, for instance. So it's all kinds of physical um, objects. Uh, the large um, hierarchy I already talked about is procedure. As you can see, it's, it's really big, so it takes up the whole screen. Um, it's about activities in the healthcare sector. They can be administrative, invasive, diagnostic activities. Uh, there are also educational procedures in there as well as referrals. And we picked a drill to symbolize um, this category and then um, it's broken up by method, by priority, by site. So it's, it's really huge. Okay, the next one is the scales. This is the so-called uh, qualifier values. These are concepts used as values for other SNOMED CT attributes. For example, the values for specifying the laterality of a fracture um, are contained here. Um, so um, if I go to um, spatial and relational concepts, for instance, and um, then to relative sites and decidedness, that you can find them left sided, right sided, and so on, dominant side. Mm -hmm. kinds of values. Uh, record artifact is much smaller. Uh, these are documents that were created to provide information about healthcare related events or states of affairs. Um, for example, if you look at record types, um, you have patient record type, so you would find um, anesthesia records here, birth certificate, these kind of things. And we have a little camera. Uh, situation with explicit context, the house icon, are concepts um, that specify the circumstances of the procedure, uh, the circumstances of a finding or a condition. So, um, for example, um, that can be conditions in the past, like an injection that was given, or in the future, if you're awaiting something, findings that can be ruled out, um, information about someone other than the patient, for example, family history, so everything um, about the context of um, something. Then uh, the SNOMED CT model component is uh, in this hierarchy um, you will find metadata, data, linkage, namespaces and um, modules, for example the, the national extensions here, linkage concepts. Uh, the, the person uh, represent social contacts. These are social aspects that may, inf may influence uh, health and treatment of a patient, um, such as the social status, the ethnic group, religion, lifestyle, family, occupation. So everything, if you think of sociology, um, these are kind of the terms here. And you can even find uh, the Batman in this category. <laughs> And we gave uh, him a special um, symbol. If you're curious, you can check it out yourself. Uh, special concepts, um, it's um, a gift symbol and those are inactive um, concepts, outdated concepts, as well as navigational concepts. Uh, the drop um, represents specimens, so everything uh, that was acquire, ac acquired for examination, examination or analysis, blood samples, genetic samples, environmental swaps, these kind of things. So you see there, there are quite a lot here as well. 
uh, staging and scales. You can also already see this is something related to, to measuring. There are different instruments of testing and scaling, assessment scales, grading systems, tumor staging, um, symptom ratings are here as well. And if you open like assessment scales, you can all see the different tests, questionnaires that exist, different tools. So in the last one, a substance, I already talked about this. Um, it's a, a beaker symbol, like chemists use it. So think of chemistry. Um, here you can find substances and chemical constituents that are used for pharmaceutical um, and biological products. Um, diclofenac, melatonin, um, swimming pool water, um, different kind of oils. So the wide category of, of substances. Okay, um, that was just a brief overview over this um, vast um, terminology. And um, there are icons for other terminologies as well, which we won't go through, but um, if you're curious, um, you can um, check them out as well. You see there, there are different icons for the terminologies. Let me just show you this one. Huh? That's it, diseases of the digestive system. There's a, a burger, so it's, it's um, easier to understand what's in these categories. Okay, and um, the next video will be about doing searches.